Oh my, oh my, for the love of Pinkie Pie, 200 subscribers already. Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> didn't expect this channel to take off that fast, but I'm not complaining. I appreciate all your support, guys, so far. Um, this is going to be my like, 200 subscriber special. I was going to do a speed draw of Nightmare Moon, but instead I think I'd mix it up a little bit, and I'll give you guys a little bit of my frequently asked questions. I've been getting a lot of from you guys out there. Okay, um, I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, I got a list here, so if I stutter points, please forgive me. I have no script, and this is just going right off the top of my head. Number one, where did I learn to draw? Okay, I've been getting this flooded out the yin-yang recently, and I'm going to clear up everything here right now. I have never had any schooling for this. I've never taken any classes. I've never taken any lectures or pointers. Until about three to four weeks ago, or whenever December 15th was, I didn't even know I could draw. I mean, I doodled in class in school when I was in high school, but that was no late. Um, my grandpa passed away on the 13th, and basically, so I didn't think and get into a moby state of depression, I basically just picked up pencil and paper and just started doodling some sketches on a piece of paper and some notepads, and... Really quickly, I learned and discovered, ooh, okay, apparently I can actually draw. So, <laughs> people think that I'm lying about that. I'm actually dead serious. I asked my family members where this talent came from. They got nothing. So, I guess this is like uh, Apple Bloom discovering one of her hidden talents. She didn't even know she had. I usually am a mechanic and worked on cars my whole life, but apparently I can also draw awesome art too, so I'm not going to stop anytime soon, and I'm just going to keep progressing my skills and see where it takes me. <laughs> okay, um, second question. Will you draw my OC? Um, I don't really want to say I won't, but I prefer not to. Um, if you got a cool character design, I might do it, but I gotta be in the mood before I draw. I can't just be like, okay, I'm gonna do this right now. It's kind of a spontaneous thing. Believe it or not, usually at like 2 in the morning is when I do most of my artwork. And that's the reason why my comments usually say, well, upgrade the description when I wake up. Because right now it is 4 in the morning when I'm making this 200 sub video. I prefer writing at night and talking at night and drawing at night because... Everyone's asleep, and it's peaceful. I can fully concentrate on my work. Um, back to the OC matter. I will draw your OC, or I will not. It's not it's that I don't like your OC, but it's just got to be like one of those things. I have to be in the mood, or I want to draw it. It's not if I, if I say I will not, please don't take offense to it. It's nothing against you. It's just my personal preference on what I want to draw. Um... We can still be friends, I'll still say hi to you, but if I don't want to draw your OC, please respect my opinion on that. Um, I'm not trying to sound like a jerk or anything, it's just that I have to be in the mood to draw something. I can't draw if I don't want to. It's just how I am, sorry about that. When do I post my videos? When can you expect an update, in other words? Um, my videos, I try to put out two a week of speed draws. Um, basically, I would put out more videos, but I need to be, like I said in my previous question, I need to be in the mood to draw something. It's not like I can just sit down and force myself to draw. I just kind of got to feel for it. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I do take requests on characters to draw, and I've seen some pretty cool ones, like the Pinkie Pie versus Final Space Cannon one. That was actually a suggestion that I kind of tweaked a little bit at work, and, um... The Vinyl Scratch and Tavy one was another one. Russia, or, uh, who was the other one that was a request I had? Uh, Spitfire. Spitfire was another request I had, and I like that idea. That one came out great. So, post some really cool, creative uh, suggestions for draws, and if you might actually see them. I, it just, if it's a cool design, I'll be like, yeah, that's something new and unique. I've never seen it done before. I'll do it. So, Please feel free to leave suggestions in the comments of what you might want to see drawn, and you might just see a drawing. <laughs> you never know. Um, what tools do I use to draw? Um, pretty basic, bare minimum stuff here. I got a $5 webcam, 
I picked up a garage sale last year and it's been working good. It's a Logitech. I can't give you any model numbers. I don't even know what it is. All I know is it works. Um, it is a 720 HD video cam. I usually don't upload it in HD because it takes forever. <laughs> like three hours worth. So pardon me for that. Um, my pencils are something called Artistic Loft. I got for a Christmas present last year. Um, prior to that, I was just using a set of 24 Crayolas. Both of them were good. I still switch between the two depending on the shadings or preferences that I am drawing. So that also happens as well. Um, my OC's design. I have been getting questions where I came up with the OC's character design. And... <laughs> You're going to laugh at me for this one when I tell you this, but um, I actually based my character's design off Horatio from NCIS Miami. Or CSI Miami, sorry. CSI Miami. You know, the red-haired guy who never has a loud voice. Well, I kind of ponified him with a few twists of my own, and I rolled with it. I originally didn't even intend to make an OC, but that's what happened. So that's where I got the character's design. As for the name, I actually didn't come up with a name. I'm going to be straight up honest here. I did not come up with a name. It was actually given to me from my friend uh, Lyra Heartstrings. It is her YouTube channel. I can put a link in the description. She came up with the name. But I could tell her, I could tell you guys her real name, but uh, for her respect of her, we being good friends, I'm not going to do that. So just call her Lyra, Lyla, Minty, Freshness, good stuff like that. Um. Well, that's all the questions I really have right now. Hopefully that cleared up any questions you might have had or were going to ask me originally. Um, I have another speed draw coming up in a couple days. I am working on a piece right now, but I'm not going to disclose which one. It's going to be uh, pretty cool, actually. It's complicated, but you'll see it. Um, please feel free to comment, thumbs up, subscribe. Or don't, you can just leave anything you want in the comments. I'm not that shallow. I love criticism. If you have any suggestions for, like, shading, or if you've been doing this longer in four weeks like me, I am more than welcome to take criticism. I take it very well. All I ask in return is just please be respectful with the criticism. Don't be like, oh, you suck, or wow, why are you drawing ponies? If you're going to hate, just leave, please. I haven't seen any hate yet, but... I'll try to keep it that way. <laughs> All right. Um, this is Rustic Shine, and hoping you enjoyed the frequently asked questions. Peace.